Hi, and welcome to this video on how to get your workouts done even if you have a fussy baby. So if this sounds like you, right, you're a mom, you have a little one, and you're trying to get your exercise in, you are trying to get a workout done, and baby just will not allow you to do it. He or she is fussing, not wanting to be put down in a swing, in a play pun, in a bouncy chair um, and play independently while you try to get a little bit of exercise in, you know, 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes, 30 minutes max. That's kind of where I'm at right now with my little one. So this video is going to help to give you some tips on how to get through and through a workout with a little one who is awake because my kids, I don't ever work out when they're napping. That just is not a feasible option for me. So they're always with me. They're always awake um, when I'm trying to get my workouts in. My name is Rachel and I'm a physical therapist and a running coach for moms who are trying to get back to running postpartum without injury or pelvic floor issues. I've been a PT for 15 years and I recently got into uh, this coaching within the last year or so so that I can help other moms in the same situation like me get back to doing the thing that they love. So to talk about this, my um, I just want to give you a little, a little bit more background um, cause I got a lot of feedback on a video that I posted earlier this week on baby wearing while working out. And I had one mom say to me, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. Why didn't I think to do that? So a lot of times I wear my baby while I work out or while I'm walking. And this has been the best way for me to make sure that I can get my exercise in, get my strengthening in, get my cardio in without compromising what baby what my baby wants or needs at the time. So when she was tiny, tiny, um, what I would do is put her in the Moby wrap. And a lot of moms don't like those kind of wraps because it's just a long piece of fabric, but, and it's a little bit tricky to learn how to use, but once you learn how to use it, it's, it's fantastic. So that's what I like when, um, when my babies are teeny, teeny, tiny. So when they're newborn and when I'm first getting back to my walking routine, which um, I usually, with my last two postpartums, I started about two weeks postpartum getting on the treadmill with them. So at that point, they they love to be close. They love to be nestled. And then the motion is fantastic. It, it puts them right to sleep. So I'd actually time it out with their naps when they were, when they were really little. So the Moby wrap is great for that. Um, I also like the Moby because you can sort of position it to sort of to hold their, their head in place so that you don't have to hold their head for them. So that's a great wrap to use um, in the very beginning, the very immediate postpartum. As my babies get bigger, I transition them to the Ergo, the Ergo baby carrier. And um, I'll put some links uh, below in the comments so that you can uh, see which wraps I'm talking about if you're not familiar with them. So the Ergo, I believe it's the 360. I'll double check that. The Ergo 360 is fantastic. It It's great from seven to, I want to say 45 pounds, which I don't know why you'd want to carry your baby who's 45. My, my toddler is now almost 30 pounds and it's a little too much at this point, but that's to say it's a very sturdy, sturdy carrier. So I like that one as they get bigger. Um, it has nice padded shoulder straps and it has a nice waist belt and you can cinch and tighten in all the right places to hold the baby nice and close to you. Um, and so that you have good support um, for your own body and for your back when you're working out. Um, so you need to, sometimes you need to be creative, right? So like my workout earlier this week started on, on the floor. I usually start all my workouts on the floor. Um, so laying down, I do, um, I do a bunch of exercises for my legs. I do a little bit of stretching. Um, and my baby is in her swing at that point. Um, the swing is solely in the basement just for workout time. Um, and sometimes she gives me 20 minutes in the swing and I can get through my whole workout. Other days, um, like earlier this week, um, it was about 10 or 15 minutes and she just was not having it. And she's almost outgrowing the swing. So I need to move to some other options um, when she doesn't fit in there. Um, so anyway, so what I did was um, I, I did my floor stuff and then I put her in the, I put her in the carrier. And she's so conditioned to the carrier at this point that as soon as she sees me get it out and start to click it on, she stops crying because she knows that she's going to be coming with mama and we're just going to be hanging out together and doing whatever it is that mom is doing. So they will, they will come to really enjoy um, being in the carrier with you. 
the great thing about working out with them in the carrier is that it gives you resistance. And if you do it from the time that they're a newborn as they grow, right, it's progressive resistance training. So it's perfect. Um, so, you know, you can do when babies, when your baby's in the carrier, obviously you have to do everything in standing, but you can get creative. You can still, you know, do your arm exercises. You can do standing exercises. You can do squats. You can do lunges. I mean, the possibilities are absolutely endless as to, you know, what you can do in a standing position to get a full body workout. So don't be afraid to, to do your workout with your baby in, in the carrier. Um, and I still walk with her, you know, we went out in the yard yesterday or we go out in our, on our property and I still walk with her in the carrier. If it's a really rainy day and we're not going out for a run, um, we still jump on the treadmill with my son up until he was two, um, last summer while I was pregnant, I put him in after the ergo, we graduated to a hiking pack. So we have an Osprey Poco, I believe is, is the model. And I would actually walk with him in this, in the hiking pack on the treadmill because I wanted to get my exercise in. Um, so it is possible to work around the needs of your children um, to make sure that their needs are met, make sure that your needs are met, okay, um, and everybody's happy. The other thing you can do if, if your baby really won't be put down at all, like so she's eight months old right now, so she's to the point where um, depending on the day, she can be completely happy and independent. And sometimes I put her, I have a little playpen too down in the basement just to keep um, keep the kids contained. Like if I'm using the treadmill, I don't want them moving around around the treadmill. Um, throw some toys in there and she's usually good for another 10 or 15 minutes. So sometimes it's a lot of juggling, like start in the swing and then go in the playpen and then I wear her or it's swing and then playpen or whatever. Um, when she was really little, so in the newborn phase, when she didn't want to be apart from me at all, um, what I would do is I would just fold up a towel or a blanket and I would just set her beside me and I would do my floor exercises with her right next to me. So she would be touching me. She would be in close contact with me and that was enough to settle her so that I could still, you know, do some, do some leg exercises on my back or when I'm laying on my side, she can be nestled up against me. Um, I actually had a mom message me um, about my program and she said, she said, gosh, I wish I had had these exercises, you know, with my previous because they're so great. I can do them while I'm breastfeeding, right? I mean, lay on your side. If you're used to doing um, sideline nursing and if, if you're not used to it, try it out. It's like, it's so easy. It's great for like nighttime or when you're, when you're tired. But anyway, you can lay on your side nurse your baby and do your leg exercises while you, you know while you're nursing so baby is occupied you get a little bit of movement in it's again a win-win situation um, I've also done exercises with her on my chest so laying you know doing stuff if you're laying on your back um, baby can lay on your chest um, so baby can be nice and close to you um, so these are just um, a couple of options a couple of things that I have tried and used um, over the last few years that have worked to make sure that I get my exercise in because it's really important to me and my body and my overall recovery and my mental health to make sure that I get my exercise in. So if you have to stop and start, change positions, um, do a diaper change because that's a lot of a lot a case a lot of times too. I, I keep diapers and wipes next to my workout area because a lot of times we have to stop and do that too. But be flexible. You can be flexible. It's you know your workouts are not necessarily going to look the same as they did before before you had your baby or when your your children are a little bit older and you can get in, you know, a continuous, you know, 20 to 30 minutes or what have you, whatever your exercise routine is for you, um, it's, it's going to be a little bit more choppy and you have to allow some time for that. So stops and starts and repositioning and, you know, holding your baby and just making modifications to your exercises. So you might have one plan in mind and that might go out the window you know, I can't do, you know, hands and knees position exercises if my baby wants to be worn. So now I need to do stuff in standing. So be flexible with it and you can definitely make it work for you. Um, if you're interested in working with me and, you know, doing some exercises for your postpartum recovery to get back to your normal level of exercise, your regular workouts and you want to start early on, you can start as early as um, when you deliver. 
So I have exercises that are safe from, from that zero to six week mark before you even go to see your doctor. If you're further along postpartum, I'd love to have you as well. Um, so my program is very uh, progressive in the way that we, we move through the exercises and uh, very modifiable to accommodate you, your needs, your time, and your baby's needs. So if you have any questions, if you are interested in working with me um, in my postpartum recovery program or my postpartum return to run program, feel free to send me a message and I would be happy to chat with you further about where you're at in your postpartum recovery and whether working together might be the right fit. If you have any other, um, any other things that you would like to have addressed or you want me to talk about in a future video, drop it in the comments below. And if you watched all the way to the end, for me, let me know. Um, let me know what you do. What you do when you have to, when you want to work out, and how do you manage your manage your kids when you work out? Do you baby wear, or do you say absolutely no way? I'm not going to be doing that because I've had other moms say that as well. That that is their time, and they don't want to. Um, they won't, don't want to compromise that. So they usually have a sitter, or they have dad, or family member watch their baby for them. So what do you do when you want to work out and baby is needy? Drop it in